Hey Taurus, how you doing? Hope you're all doing well. Let's see what we've got for you today. I just want to say that, guys, what I do is I lay all the cards out one by one first. And then and explain each what each card roughly means. And then by the end of the laying out the cards, I will then read them properly. So if you want to know and you don't want to hear what each card individually means, then skip over until you see where all the cards have been laid down. And then I'll read it out loud, you know, I'll read it properly. So it's totally up to you guys. Anyway, so let's get on with the show. Taurus, what is in store for you this week? Oh, you're starting to come out the rough. So there's a rough time you've been having, and you're starting to come out of it now. Then you've got the Five of Cups, which, you know, <laughs> everything's spilled around you, but you've still got one there that's not spilled. You've got one there full of, which is of love and everything. You're bored. You're fed up. You're, you've been depressed. But there's something there still that's good. You've got the eight, the seven of wands. Okay, and I feel it's holding you up because I feel that you haven't been feeling well lately. Okay, but the seven of wands is normally when you're not feeling very well. And I feel that, you know, now you're starting to get back to your old self and you're starting to feel a little bit better. But it's also a time for meditation. But it's also, <laughs> you need to rest. You need to just rest a bit because I feel that, you know, you've been doing too much with these physically or emotionally. Oh, wow. And look at that. Then you've got the sun card. Oh, how beautiful is that, guys? So by the end of the week, your week, it's going to be beautiful. That's awesome. Right. Now let's do... Let's confirm these cards, please. Let's confirm these cards, please. Let's confirm these cards, please. Thank you. Right. At the bottom you have the Five of Cups. That's fine, but yeah, Five of Cups. That's a bit of heartache, bit of depression, bit of sad. Okay, but I just feel you you're looking at the past and you're trying to remember things of the past. Oh no, you got the Three of Swords. You've been upset. You've been really upset, guys. Things have been upsetting you. Okay, and then you've got the Knight of Cups, which is like a husband, a father figure, a husband. But I say husband. Yeah, it's a husband, but this is, it depends what age you are. Okay, this is someone more my age, you know. He's grown up, his kids are growing up, you know. Someone more my age. No, I'm not telling you my age. <laughs> and then you've got the four of coins, which is, you know, you're being told to hold on tight to your money, your dreams, whatever it is you want. Hold on tight to it. And then you got oh you got abundance. You got abundance coming your way, guys. Oh yeah, look at that. Even though that's the five of coins, it means you know being left out in the cold and everything. And then you've got the king of wands, and yeah, you know, this person's a born leader. Okay, people are cheering him on, and so I feel also that it's going to be something good this week for you. The world. The world's great. 
the world's new beginnings and everything. You got the wheel of fortune. And it, why have I gone down? I have no idea. Obviously, I'm meant to. You got the wheel of fortune, which you know where it stops. No one knows. It's a new beginning, new challenges for you, complete new change for you. But you're being told to choose wisely. Get your head out in the clouds. Concentrate more. Oh, you got the sun again. Oh, wow, guys. You've got something fantastic happening this week. I don't know what it is, but it's going to be a doozy. It's going to be a doozy. And you've got the empress. Okay, which is a mother figure. It's someone who, you know, very loving. He likes to show you love. Then you've got the Two of Cups, which is, you know, either meeting someone new or it's coming together with someone. Then we've got the Death card, which is the end of an old situation. And you've got a new situation starting. And you can't see me, sorry. Then you've got the Ten of Coins, which is, you know, celebrations in the home and things. Beautiful things. And then you've got the Ace of Swords, which is also a new beginning. That's more of a new mental beginning, if you like. Okay. Let's see if I can't move these over a bit. Sorry about this. All skew with. All skew with. Look at that. There we go. Right, let's read these cards then. You've got the Five of Cups, which you feel like, almost like you've lost everything. Okay, and you're looking back at the past. Okay, and you're, it's like there's something you're remembering of the past. And whatever it is from your past, you're going to remember, I feel will bring you some money. And people are going to follow you because they're going to be amazed how much you've changed your life. It's going to be amazing for you. Okay. But there's some reason you're not feeling very well. And I see you in, you're in tears. You're upset. You know. But you've got the world there which is reminding you that, you know, you've got a new beginning coming. This is all going to change. Don't worry. Okay. There will be changes around you at the moment, but you're being told to, you know, take a look at the smaller picture. Look at the details. Look at the fine print, okay? The details are important. Then you've got the four of wands, sword, sorry, which is like, right, you need to take rest, okay? You need to go in yourself, do more meditation. If you do meditation, or sit down and just sit quiet, maybe listen to some music, but be on your own. Get to know yourself again. Okay, and once you do that, I feel that that will be your turning point. And you've got all the love around you and everything. Okay, but you need, there's someone you need to sit down with and talk to. Okay, you know, I feel that you will be sitting down with this person and talking to them. And I feel it's going to turn out fine. You're more worried about things than what you, than what it should be, okay? You've got the sun, which is, you know, absolutely the be most beautiful car in the pack. It, it's beautiful. It's happiness all the way around. You're happy with everything. You've got the four coins, which is you're not holding on to something tight enough. And I feel if you're not careful, you're going to let this thing go. Whether it being a person you're going to let go or, you know, your finances you're going to let go, I don't know. But I feel that, you know, th there will be, I think you will realise it in the end, okay, that you nearly lost this person. You don't want to lose this person. And you'll realise it in the end because then you've got the Ace of Swords, which is a time for you, you're going to all of a sudden have cl clarity, Okay, something will also give you that aha moment. You'll be like, oh my God, I didn't see that or I didn't think of that. So someone I feel who you're going to sit down with is going to give you that moment, 
okay? But you're also being told, look at the bigger picture, okay? And look at the small print or any small details on something because it's the small deals that will make everything work out fine and you will understand more, right? Now, let's, let's come from these cards, shall we? Let's come from these cards, please, for Taurus. Come from these cards for Taurus. Look at that, you've got the sun again. Seriously, guys, each pack has got 78 cards. You see me shuffle. I'm not doing this on purpose, okay? You've got the sun there. In fact, I'm going to put it there, and you can actually watch me take it from the pack. Okay, you've got the Knight of Coins, which I feel finances will improve for the future. Okay, you've got the Page of Cups, which I feel that, you know... <laughs> You need to look at yourself. Look at your emotions. I feel there's something you're missing. Okay, there's something you're missing with your emotions. You've got the three of hearts there again. Remember, seven to eight cards in each pack. There's your three of hearts telling you there is going to be heartache if you haven't had it already. You've got the page of swords. Okay, which, you know, this is like a child. Okay, but this child... It's got a potty mouth. That child's got a potty mouth. Really bad. Okay, then you've got the Nine of Cups, which is, you know, making your wish. Making your wish for it to come true. And then you've got the Five of Swords, which is, you know, you've had your battle. People walked away. But, you know, you... I don't feel that you truly won there. I really don't. And you've got the three of wands, which is you looking back to the past. And, you know, there's the two of wands. But it also means travel and communication. So, like I said, there will be someone you will be talking to. Okay, you've got the eight of coins, which is working hard. Working hard with someone. And then you've got the page of coins, which is, you know... You're, you're trying to think out how to make more money. You're trying to think how to make more money. And you've got the emperor there. So I feel that there is someone there who can advise you better on your finances. It's someone who's positive and he's intelligent, you know, and he's probably older than you. You've got the queen of cup coins there. And I feel you will work out your finances. I really do. But, you know, you've got to remember... Look at the smaller print. Look at the bigger picture. Okay. And, you know, remember, you, your life is going to be beautiful. Okay. You've just got to get over this hurdle of your sadness, of who you've lost or who you're about to lose, and it'll be fine. Okay. Then you've got a super can't answer a question for you. Let's see if we can't answer a question for you. Think of a question. You can pause the video if you want. It's up to you. Right. you got wait. You're to wait. Romance. There you go, guys. you got some romance coming your way by the looks of things. Ooh la la. <laughs> Anyways, guys. Hope that helped you. As always, stay truthful. Be happy and have the most beautiful week ahead of you. Love and sparkles, Scooby-Doo.